All right, so we're on Lionhead Ridge, uh, just at the top of Ski Hill. And we just dug a snow pit 10 feet below us here on 28 degree slope. Had stable results, both on this layer of sugary facets down at the ground and some buried surface hoar up here. And as we were walking back up, the track that we had descended on, this whole slope collapsed hundreds of feet wide. Um, and you can see this crack here where it collapsed down on this sugary weak layer. So that's our obvious sign that the snowpack is unstable and this is why we're avoiding avalanche terrain for now and probably in We're down at, on Lionhead Ridge near West Yellowstone. Snowpack on this slope is 150 centimeters deep. And our two, we have two layers of concern now. We just buried a layer of surface hoar underneath about a foot of snow here. Um, other areas got a little bit more, maybe two feet. So where this layer is, it wasn't collapsing instability test here. We haven't seen signs of instability on this layer yet today. But once this slab gets deeper, or areas where it is deeper, we could easily trigger avalanches on that. And then we still have these facets down below our Thanksgiving crust that are capable of producing a large avalanche. We have an avalanche warning here today because we had two feet of snow yesterday. And while those are getting harder to trigger, we're not gonna be triggering avalanches on every slope or the first few riders might not hit that weak layer. But it will be possible to hit that and trigger a large avalanche. And as those signs of instability on that layer become less frequent, um, that situation becomes more tricky. So around here, avalanche riding an avalanche train is not advised right now. We need to have some time without snowfall and wind and let this snowpack uh, gain some strength and adjust to this, this recent storm.